Hey there, it's Marilyn. I'm making floating picture frames that my daughter painted years ago hanging in my office. I'm using pine for the frames and this is a 3 quarter inch by 2 and a half inch by 8 foot board. The artwork is a 20 by 16 and I'll be cutting 2 at 22 inches and 2 at 18 inches. table saw I'll cut each board down to one and one quarter inches and the cut off to one inch. dry fitting the artwork to make sure it doesn't go past the frame and it looks like I needed to take a blade width off and then I will dry fit it again. Fasten the one quarter inch and one inch strips with wood glue and bright nails. artwork will lay flat on the one inch side. Here you will see the front side and you will see the side of the frame. I will make a 45 degree mark using the speed square. On the minor saw I will move it to 45 degrees. This will be the reference point to cut the 45 degree angle. This is where the two inches added will give you the correct fit for the artwork. When put together, it should make a sharp arrow like this. I will use wood glue to put the pieces together and the frame belt to secure it and I let it sit to dry for several hours.
have 20 minutes of sanding to do using 150 grit sandpaper. If you like the video so far, hit the like button and subscribe. Put three coats of shellac on the frame. I'm drilling holes for the one inch screws so it will secure the artwork to the frame. And then I'll install a sawtooth hanging bracket. that the artwork has the correct gaps what I did was is I used some cards and placed them around the between the frame and the artwork to make sure the gap was even frames are done, I'll be hanging them up in my office.